All right, buddy. So here we are in open D. Though he plays it in open E. Uh, and you can capo too if you want, but meh. Um, cool. So we got our. I'm going to learn to play slide stuff, which um, you know we're working on. So first of all, like I'd like you to just like open the strings, warm up, and do some whatever your subconscious comes up with type shit. And like until your thumb starts to feel comfortable and listen to your bass notes during this, and make sure you're playing them loud enough. And like I was saying, the only way to make them loud enough is to pull away from the instrument is by striking harder down with the fifth string. Right? It's like there's only so much real estate. Cool. So there you go. And what I wrote on the page was like, and two fret slides, everything ever, unless there's like this specific. You know, I want exactly a half step. So that's the thing. Think back to fretted playing, right? It's like. Um, cool, so that's us. Uh, probably the only big, hey, you look what you're doing thing we have. So. And there we have a change on the upbeat thing. So, the, you know, it's like, you know, things to focus on not putting your fingers back. Three, four. So that's where you're going to get up to first. And I don't mean turning it into a song that loops there. One good one, stop, assess, one good one. That's an important step. And it's a natural inclination to be like, okay, I'll make the song go. But then we start using the part of our brain we use for I'm going to learn this for the test and forget it immediately afterwards as opposed to the part for I want to retain this. Um, cool. So there we are. We just went, we, be, um, and then. So, and I want you to be sick good at that before you try the thing on the next line. The point isn't to play this song that goes this way, it's just to have done things like this. So, really de emphasize fucking like, making it sound like I'm playing a song. You can even pause. So, so there we got that, like, can't leave early. Stay here until that specific moment. You might find you the damp in here. We don't want that's cool, but we're going. Don't even turn that into a song. You know what we're doing in your place. One good one, pause. Well, what did I do wrong? One good one, pause. Memorization, dance steps, dancing. Cool. That's what's on the page. It's completely irrelevant that you play these after one after the other. We have this Kelly Joe song for that. But yeah, so we just play while we're at it. So there we are demonstrating how and why we started using our ring finger, like I was talking about being able to mute behind the slide. This whole song is going to take place on I Am On The Free High Strings or Farther Down, Kelly Joe's thing and our thing we just played, because uh, we're playing 6-4-6-4 six, four, six, four bass and also that's just what's up, which totally includes these non-fretted playing fun positions like way to F down. I mean, you could theoretically just do this, though you know, it doesn't seem like that's a problem for you. But everything, mm -hmm. all the bad sounds like we talked about, the answer is thumb down and knuckles out, thumb down and knuckles out. If you're hearing, mm -hmm. I suggest that you overshoot and then come back, and you'll be like, perfect. If you just like, I'm missing the, that's the way to do it, rather than trying to wrestle yourself in that, something I didn't like think to say for 10 years of teaching, and then was well, pretty sick I did. All right, so uh, at like 4.14 in your video, we start doing um, Leave Me On, and uh, here is, we go. So we have the here we go part. I didn't mean to say that. So there's that, we have to stay here until we do that or we go. Oops, that's cool. Great. And that's like the here we go part. The part we want to focus on is. Good at that, pausing in between, do it out of rhythm, develop a sense of rhythm. One single good. And then having.
having done that, going. what happens so there's a bunch of like here I go stuff there he goes play play I might just left my mark upstairs for every reason oh that's right it's down the whole step and I'm gonna leave it there for the song I'm working on so my bad I actually can play so fucking um we we And this is our first we use though. The second string is a drone string spot too. So I'm like excuse me. Uh, so there's what I wrote. I kind of subdivided it there on purpose. If you can not play now, it'd be awesome. This is you are watching this later, totally a normal inclination. So we were just like boy, boy, da da boy, boy, da da having to do this, you know, tilt back a little bit with the slide thing we're talking about. Um, and then we got, so just get sick at that before we even try the next thing. And then I'm going to suggest you stop playing up to there and just work on the subsequent part as like an autonomous big part too and then put them together. Um, so now we're going, you know, we go. You know, so we're doing this whole I'm at the seventh part thing, which goes. just going and it's a little weird that the bow is on the high bass note but so yeah it's, just, it's on the high bass note so bow it better do that nice and then of course so section absolutely this you know and then you might go previous line, like. A few times, play out of rhythm. It's a list of shit to do. And then you play it in rhythm. Uh, cool. And then we get all. So before we do this, before, you know, we've got. the high bass note, we transition the chord on the G string, which is not a G string, or third string, like that. So, so there's where I'm going to pick up from, is the, and we talked about the way you achieve that, you know, play the two high notes in the chord, and find the right amount of tilt is almost there, but then you have to push down a little bit with your finger to to really make it actually really sound cool. So, there we are. That makes, I'm gonna play this one good. So there you go, you've been guitar listening.